Okay, Gemini. So for your current desires for the month of July, we actually have the page of wands or rods, and this is the fire energy. This is represented by the foreigner. So a lot of you this month are ready to adventure, are ready to experience new things, new places. Um, you may be making new friends this month. You may be desiring to just spice up your life, have some variety, get out of town. Uh, this card can indicate short trips. It could also indicate communicating with people from afar or meeting new people in different areas outside your hometown. The energy of this card is obviously a male and it is, you know, it's an aggressive energy but it's also carefree and it's also, you know, on the move basically. So for a lot of you, I feel like the month of July, you're going to be moving around a lot. You're going to be going to different places, meeting new people, uh, variety. This could also represent the desire is for new study. So new learning, branching out into a different path of knowledge, but it's a really active energy. So I feel for a lot of Geminis this month, you are feeling probably kind of restless and ready to stir around to, you know, it is, I mean, this card is almost a little mischievous in the sense that, you know, this person is very communicative. They're aggressive in the sense that they are, they have a hunger for adventure and freedom and meeting new people. It also can talk about acting without thinking. So kind of like just acting for the now and think about it later. This can also represent that some of you are desiring a message because whenever you have a page, it can be a message. So some of you might be desiring a message from a fire sign. So an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo this month, because it can represent a message coming in very quickly. And so the desire might be for you to hear or to learn about something related to a fire sign and a message. It could also be talking about communication with a fire sign. Um, so a telephone call, a letter, uh, you know, an email, Facebook, uh, you know, just there's millions of ways to communicate today. So that there could be a fire sign seeking to get your attention this month and that you might be hearing kind of out of the blue, out of nowhere. So, so very interesting. This fits Gemini personality very well. Uh, just kind of carefree, living in the moment, wanting new activities, having kind of a restless energy for the month and desiring to, like I said, meet new people. You just want to change it up. You're ready for something to change. You're ready for an adventure and you're going to make it happen because this is a male aggressive energy. And so you're not going to sit around and wait for it, Gemini. A lot of you are going to be out and about and doing what you do best. Okay, so as far as what a lot of you are valuing or even identifying with, we actually have the tower. And the tower can represent something that you once held on to or something that you once believed was firm, a solid foundation you really felt like you could count on. Basically, now you're realizing that it had no firm foundation at all. And I feel like a lot of you are coming to grips with this. And maybe that's why you're really seeking to change this month or to make changes or to meet new people, because a lot of you are just realizing that whatever you had based your hope, desire, dreams, whatever, um, has more been about an illusion and that you're at the place where a lot of you have been humbled by the situation and you're ready to learn from it. You're just, you're over trying to make it work. You're over, you know, trying to say, yes, this is how it has to be. You've kind of moved past that. And you just realized that it wasn't built on a solid foundation. And for some of you, you know, something has collapsed or it is about to collapse. So this could be, you know, anything really, a relationship, a friendship, work, um, an idea, a plan. And so basically that false beliefs are coming to an end. And so the beautiful part about this is that there's some positivity in this Gemini, I feel like for you, that a lot of you are seeing that, okay, you finally come to accept this and you're starting to see some positive aspects to this. And maybe that's why some of you are really ready to get out and about and to experience new things. Um, so you see that 
you've learned from this, whatever the situation has been, and you realize that you've gained knowledge, you've gained truth so that next time around you can build on a more firmer, solid foundation. I feel that, and that's probably again, why you're wanting to start afresh and new and, and because you're ready, you're ready to go out there and start working on a new, a new structure, a new foundation. So this card can also talk about sudden or unexpected endings. So some of you may not have been in the loop for it. Uh, maybe it has kind of come as a shock and you thought it was something really meaningful and it just has not turned out the way that you expected it to be. Uh, so it can for some feel chaotic or catastrophic, but I do feel like a lot of you are coming out of this. I don't feel like it's, it's something that's already happened or that you've already dealt with a lot of these feelings. And you're just realizing that denial might be easier in the meantime, but it's futile in the long run and that you have to start making changes. You have to start branching out and you have to start seeking new experiences. It's just, it's time. And I feel that many of you are starting to accept that. Okay. So as far as what the challenge is going to be for the month of July, for some of you, Gemini, is we have the emperor. And the interesting about this card is that it is um, a fire sign energy, but the, the positive of this card would be kind of relying on your own strength and relying on your own uh, inner authority. So if this is going to be the challenge, I feel like that might be the test this month, Gemini, is that maybe you are kind of at a letting go and just whatever happens, happens kind of mindset. And so the, and that's an awesome thing, but the challenge with that can be kind of losing your sense of self. And because you are so adaptable and you know, you can kind of be like a chameleon, the challenge this month might be kind of losing yourself almost too much in, in other situations. So the challenge this month, you know, could be about relying on your inner strength of who you are not needing to look for outside validation because if some of you have gone through a hard time it's really tempting and easy to want to get validation outside to want to get attention outside when your core self your best self wants to say you know what i'm good enough just as i am i am beautiful i am awesome even if i've been through a hard time i am still worthy i am lovable and just really relying on that. And if you receive extra outside validation, wonderful, but not relying on that, not seeking it just to make yourself feel better because it is a temporary fix and it can also get you into trouble. Um, so the challenge could be because you're just really, some of you might be looking for just a new experience. It's going to be to stand fast in your values, your beliefs, and your convictions, and to not compromise or water down yourself. So, like I said, this could be a kind of a transitional month for some of you. And sometimes when we come out of something that's been rough, we kind of lose ourselves and we don't really know what's going on. So the challenge is going to be to stay grounded this month because this is a very grounded energy. I mean, this guy is sitting on his stump and he is not moving. He's very strong in his identity. He's very steadfast and he's very authoritative. So if that's the challenge, it could be just not being too flighty or too up in the air. Um, you know, and that might be an, a good distraction, but just to remember to stay grounded in who you are, Gemini, and not to forget that you have a core self that is very important and to still honor yourself. So the challenge or the illusion could just be controlling yourself. And this is also represented by the number four. So like I said, this is the number four. So it's stability, logic, and reason. So that just might be the challenge this month. I feel that a lot of you are coming through something that kind of shook you up a little bit. And so it just might be a time where it's hard to be grounded. It's hard to be logical and just, you know, rational right now. I feel that for some of you, it's just like your impulses or your, your restlessness is kind of taking over and you just want to enjoy life and have fun, which is all great. But, um, I feel like the universe is saying, just stay grounded and stay true to yourself and don't compromise who you are in, in light of just having fun. Cause it's easy to lose ourselves. So, as far as the right actions to take, we have the six of swords and the six of swords represents prudence. And so what I feel like this is saying once again, from the universe is to be careful, Gemini, that I, this, this is kind of, 
a card saying that new opportunities are coming your way. You're going to have new experiences, uh, new opportunities, networking, meeting new people. It could be a new business opportunity. It could be a new relationship opportunity. And so this is saying that, yes, Gemini, you're going to get what you what you desire, having these new fresh experiences. However, the caution is, is to be prudent, to be thoughtful about what you choose to do this month. Um, because it's like, look before you leap, make sure this is really what you want to do, Gemini, because if you scatter your energies too much, then you're going to, there might be that temptation to kind of lose your sense of self and your convictions and to water down who you really are. And that's easy to do. And so I feel the universe is saying, just be careful be cautious and just think things through. I mean, cause this is a sword, this is like, use your analytical mind and, and think, you know, don't take any extravagant risks because obviously the desire is to kind of be this carefree, fiery energy that just kind of lets loose, does what they want to do. Very charismatic, very magnetic, you know, getting attention wherever they go. But the universe is just saying, you know, you've been through a lot, Gemini. There's been some, there's been some stuff happening for you. And even though you are going to seek these new experiences, these new relationships, just be cautious, make sure that you're grounded. Um, you know, obviously this guy that you're grounded in who you are, that you're not looking for outside validation, that you really are being true to yourself before you embark on anything new. And that's just wise because it's really easy to get excited about something new or a new person or whatever, a new situation. And it's just good to be cautious. It's just good to think it through. So as far as the right attitude to take, we have the seven of Pentacles. And so I feel like what the universe wants you to do, Gemini, is really take what you've learned whatever the situation was that you believed was solid and was not, you've learned some really valuable lessons. You've, you've gleaned a lot of insight for yourself in your future. And I feel that the universe wants you to take that knowledge and start moving ahead with the mindset of progress and the mindset of victory and of taking those building blocks that you have gained. And it has not been easy and to progress, to move forward. So your attitude should be, I am not going to look back with sorrow. I'm going to look forward with knowledge, with wisdom, with how to make things better. Because this is an earth energy, it's very pragmatic. It's very methodical. It's very, you know, A leads to B leads to C leads to D. It's like, if I do this cause and effect, I will manifest this. So I really feel like a lot of you have just gained this superior knowledge about yourself and about others and about situations. And so this month really just have that progressive mind. L you're definitely looking to expand and to move and to grow Gemini. It's just the key is, is staying grounded because like I said, this is an earth energy. So as you do make these changes, as you move, as you expand, as you open yourself up, just do it in a very methodical and rational way. Take it slow. I mean, earth signs are slow. They're more cautious. I know that the impulse might be to kind of jump in to things just because of the excitement and maybe you felt stagnant for so long. There's just a desire to just change things up. Um, you know, and you can always learn from those mistakes. However, you kind of just don't want to go through that same experience again. You don't want to build your foundation on something that is not going to last, that is not going to help you in the long run, is not going to be permanent. Uh, you want to stay true to who you are, be cautious, be thoughtful in, in the choices that you make this month. And really just think about progressing. How can you move forward now, Gemini? How can you, you know, this is also a financial card, so it could relate to money. Um, it's, it's, it's feeling that your things are going to get better for you and that this is a very positive sign. It's a positive time that things are going to improve for you that your dreams are going to get closer to reality. It's a very successful energy and it also can be good news regarding finances. So I feel like just having that positive outlook on life and that optimism and that you know that your time of harvest is imminent and that you have learned, you've gained the knowledge, you're, you've gotten rid of a lot of things that are no longer serving you and that your crops are about to come in. So really just having a positive mindset and seeing whatever has happened in the past 
as a learning process, a learning experience. And I feel like if you do this, Gemini, we have a beautiful, beautiful card. We have the 10 of Pentacles, and this actually represents fortune. So if you stay on that path of, you know, I mean, the beautiful thing is Gemini is that you are open to new experiences. You're not one to just sit idly by. You're going to grow just by the nature of your sign and your energy. And if you can stay grounded and if you can be cautious and really think everything through, fortune is coming to you. This is about solidifying the things in your life. And that's what I feel like is happening for you. You're at a very exciting time because you've learned from the past. Now you're embarking on new experiences. And if you have discernment and you stay grounded and wise in your new experiences, it's going to bring you great fortune. So this can represent inheritances, winnings, um, dreams just basically are manifesting in the material world. And it can even represent a change of re residence. So some of you might want to move or meet new people or go somewhere abroad or take a trip. It's really about expanding the home, the family, and it's about financial stability. So that's kind of a beautiful energy. And I feel like for a lot of you, Gemini's, that would actually resonate because you like variety, but you also like that stability and you like to provide that stability for your family. So this is really about solidifying finances in your life while keeping new experiences and possibly moving or, you know, expanding your communications with others. And you're really about passing on to future generations. You're planning for the future. So there's a, a more of a feeling settled, being materi materially secure and, and creating a comfortable foundation for yourself and for your family.